Radiant Team Van. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Templar Assassin. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Venomancer. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I actually wish that instead of the warlock you had like a, you know a dazzle. I remember like in those at least a couple of patches back they would like have a dazzle heal bomb with the tuscar. But I get I get what you mean. Like. But okay, before we go into introducing the players, do you guy or the PQ? Do you favor any draft in particular between the two?
All right. Well, I'm not too sure about the Venom pick, and I mean, personally for me, I, I always favor a life steal TA. Seems much easier to execute in that sense. Like, maybe because I don't understand the Venom pick, well. But, right, enough about that. Introducing the teams now on the Radiant side. Mineski, KYXY, going to be playing on that Omni Knight. Maybe he's a Selection Slacks fan. Mushi playing on the TA mid. Okay, it's not going to be Raging Potato. Ninja Boogie going to be playing on the Disruptor. Raging Potato on the Lifestealer. And on the... Yeah, Adam on the Elf Spirit. On the Dire side, you have Fnatic, Ohio. Going to be playing on the Nyx Assassin. Miracle playing on the Venom and some mid. Febby playing on the Tuscar, and you have DJ on the Warlock with QO playing on the Slark. Well, alright, for those of you who didn't really get the joke early on, that lame joke from Ninja Boogie, DJ says Mike. That's actually, that's, that's basically Boogie's real name. But, much in place, won't see any aggro in situations. And Peaky, okay, you know before Adam joined them. It is? Okay. Oh, does he actually get first blood here? But the shadow word's gonna come out. So Adam gonna take quite a fair bit of amount of damage. Actually bring way to the and okay, this is what KYXY really likes to do. I think he probably adopted this one. I realized like Chinese players uh, offlane, they like to do this. They will drag. Oh, Febby under the tower. First blood goes to Mushi. He already popped that fairy fight, but Miracle will get the return kill. He has to sell. Not worth it. But yeah, I think it's. Here comes Adam, he's gonna give Miracle some hell. Pop the fairy fire at ENS, he will get the right click away. Mushi getting another kill here. So... YXY... Value. Healing shock! Right up, Adam basically mana to go back to creating some havoc at the top lane. Alright, so I want to ask a bit more regarding the Venomance of a CA matchup. Like, you know, just purely 1v1. Who usually has the advantage? A gift from the Tempest of Battle. An exceptional fight. Death and gold are linked. Good. mentioned his talents are really annoying that level 25 talent if he gets to that level I'm, I'm not sure if you've played against it like that three times play guard hp and damage is actually just ridiculous that's true minus one minute wow Yeah, that's like the way LGD, maybe they started that and then just became a trend. But they probably just realized it was too good to not try. Um, Purified. 
Our Fane, we haven't talked about this yet. Ohio's still having a decent time. Gonna try and steal that bounty rune. CS wise, not really on top. He's just a few behind the Omni Knight, but you know, he's still getting decent levels here. Three and a half, four minutes in. Oh, top lane, they're going right here into KYX, right, with the snowball in, but the repel. Oh, they're using the shots to block him off. They won't get the body blocks. DJ gonna try it with the upheaval slow. Will it be enough? QO, dark pact. No, they can't really take him down. QO doesn't want to really this, and so he gets out of 100 HP. EMS just, and the repel, making him incredibly hard to kill. And they were trying on to... Like you said, that point... Fractions... Radiant's top tower is under attack. I feel like I want one thing I wanted to hold on, hold that thought. Adam rolling in. Like I was just surprised more with the roll swap between Mushy and Raging Potato because he I mean, so far, most of the wins, you have to give it credit to Raging Potato playing in mid, but looks like Mushi just wasn't, you know, wasn't content to just deal with that. So, yeah, it's a Mushi thing. You can't just... Uh, just See, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if he can pull off some of that magic. Sometimes old school magic is what we need. Um, all right, Febby. Oh, Mushi knows he's there. They have the glimpse if they want to. Febby was kind of rolling in, and now he's walked into the wrong neighborhood. It looks like this is a weird definition of space. I don't know. He's gonna snowball all the way, bump into Ninja Boogie. So three heroes still chasing him. Febby, the glimpse is back. They should be killing him here, but okay, yeah. Miracle gets a free lane. Denied. Fnatic is right now on the clock because Raging Potato has had really, really good farm. Like, uh, up the CS. Well. I don't know, it feels like it's underwhelming. Yeah, that's, that's what I was wondering. Like, I mean, I, I went, I was at CS, I was like, okay, he's at the top. But now net worth wise, he's in the bottom half. Yeah, that, that explains. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So, looks like my display. <clears throat> it's too good, especially with the level 10 talent, the 30% EXP gain. And you have your Midas extra EP, you know what, you know, every time it's a pull down. But now they want to go here right onto Miracle. The Gaze popping into Adam, getting the silence. Actually silencing and the silence of the Tusk as well. The shots, actually, ooh, did he actually just save Miracle? Into the snowball, oh, Febby. 
No, the trap is gonna be there. Try and hit the trap instead. Time it's out, but no, he will. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Match the life. It game, we all know. Like just a Dyer's top tower with is under attack. Fine. But anyways, Vineski did catch a glimpse of that. Bounty hit and he's actually ganking already as it is? What? We're only ten minutes in. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. aggressive farming he goes back to the top he did all oh, the kick and the silence but he does get the shadow dance off in the nick of time let's actually try him into mushi hopefully not but the sub is poking him just at the end of that fit middle lane however miracle gonna get glimpse back into the static storm the upheaval and the heal will not be enough to keep him alive and it looks like they were gonna try to go for Febby as well raging potato big angry and red but now that's over gone purification he's still going for Febby. now the snowball comes out keeping him around at the tower Sigil, don't think it's actually going to be saving him there. Does he have the shards? No, they won't be able to get it off in the nick of time. There's DJ. A level 6, so... Chaotic Offering. Ohio's coming in with stun. So with KO X, Y instead. Yep, they will just go straight for the zombie knight. And of course, here comes KO as well. Going for the characters, won't really... Like KO X, Y, getting some damage off at least before he dies. And he's bringing them for a wild goose chase. This is a lot of space being created right now. Radiance bottom tower is Oh, those right clicks to space. Plenty of it. Ah! All right, there we go. He finally dies. Top lane, Miracle and Febby getting the kill into Adam as well. Matching for kill. Yeah, they don't have. Top tower under so they could always give that up. Bro. Shadow Blade game, or do you feel like it? It works by caught by the shot. Try himself. DJ has that chaotic offering, so they don't want to take the risk of saving him. But the repel man is not even going to save him from this slow miracle. And now they even pop the chaotic offering at the back line. They find the disruptor as well. Do they have anything else? The shots to trap him. Yes, they can. They find Ninja Boogie. And with the upheavals, miracle. No, it's okay. They have the golem to spank him down. And we'll just scorch this disruptor and his tasty dinosaur. But it looks like they want to think about. Radiance middle tower is under attack. I end of vendetta mode. He's. I take this tier dead, which they will. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower is under attack.
Wait, and Raging Potato, actually, they get the kill into Ohio. That, but actually, you know, the Static Storm catching into Kiro. Can he get the ultimate off in the nick of time? Yes, he can. He's not gonna die here. Counts away. Has the shrine if he needs to. Actually, no, he doesn't. And then Glimpse back. Kiro goes down. Adam looks like he's gonna pay for his sins and overcommitting right over there. And Adam, dead. Miracle. Okay, Miracle. Feel at least on his part as well. Yeah, three. Buy this game. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. He's gonna be grouping up, like, constantly being behind Raging Potato. He needs a source of like decent EXP and gold. The Midas is gonna help him with that. So at least he can afford to stick around a raging potato while still getting nicely into the mid game. Middle lane. One. I haven't seen many Ohio Vendetta ganks yet. It's like both teams are reading each other very well. They know what both sides are trying to accomplish and Well, no one's really taking the extra step to try to counteract against these kind of movements just yet. Oh, they catch KYXY again. But the silence up from Adam. The upheaval slowing KYXY for a really long time with the Warriors punch as well. Oh, death. A nice kick into the static storm. Catching two heroes. Is there anything else they can do with this? Adam. Oh, there's just two heroes down. Where's the third? Fabi should be dying here as well. Trying to kill KYXY. They really want KYXY, but Mushi gets the double. So on a dominating streak. Just came off. Hold on. DJ, he's going to use the Shadow with PM to get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Now nah, he just wants to get a couple of beats in just before he dies. So four heroes go down just like that and the tier one tower to Mineski. What have we here? Hype. Feel it, you know, America. Dragon Lance. Kyo's gonna know about the vision. He's actually going for the shadow bit this game. Just completed it. Echo Saber should be on the way. Oh, she's gonna hit that huge power spike really soon because he's gonna have a death zone like at 1000 gold. And. I like how they actually got stacks right. Yeah, he gets really scary. So heroes like the Tusk, who are not exactly rich in the levels and with items as well, will die very quickly. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But right now, Fnatic, they smoke up, heading to the top lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Getting the slow, the Gale already lands into Mushi. Oh, the snowball, they cancel his TP. Repel and purification, looks like he'll be okay. Fabi getting the Warriors punch up, and of course with the Guardian Angel, Fabi goes down first. And the Glimpse back, oh, disaster for Ohio, but he still gets the stun. Nicely done, but can he get the kill him to Ninja Boogie? Yes, they will, okay, well, X, Y, actually looks like he gets out. Yes, he will. Ohio's just gonna back, getting him nice back. Die, and he... I deserve.
Stay there. Or is it just Fnatic just managing to keep hard? Because I actually thought this mid game would kind of get steep because of this TA life deal. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Ayo, he has a Midas, and after this tower, he's gonna get the dagger as well. That's gonna help with the initiation part on Fnatic. And if TA, well, he just completed that death zone, so Mushi's gonna start hitting like a truck. And that tier 2 tower top already below 50% HP. Very soon, they can actually invade. They can invade the jungle really quickly. Like, you look at Adam, he. He's ready with the infest bomb. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Blessings. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Go for my master. I like KYXY's like game. He went to the bottom lane, took a few creeps, but he realized that because they have such deep wards in the in the dire jungle, they just knew. So they're dodging it, and if anything, they will just go straight for Roshan. Really good call. And uh, the smoke up from Fnatic. I think they suspect they should know that this is a great timing for Roshan. They have the rock, so we should be seeing a pretty team fight soon. Roshan, can they make it? Can they make it in time? I don't think they can. Yeah. Go for this, Kiro, he's gonna try and snipe Adam, but the sentry was there, looking for the stun, unfortunately he's not gonna find it, Slark still silent, he's gonna pop the shadow down. Here, Adam, no, still not dying, Kiro. Now we're gonna pop the rock at last, but it's only gonna be on potato. Kiro actually will go down to Adam. KYXY. Oh, no, he's keeping Mushi alive, and down goes Miracle as well, two heroes go down. And make it three. Adam's still alive after all of that. They used the rock and not how Fnatic wanted that to end. So, Mineski win themselves a very huge engage. Dyer's mid tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Tower. Try for a bit of stun and all. Blow down the put but to They know that Mushi is fractions back up and the Gale. So he's thinking about going to the back lines to find KYXY, but do they have detection? I don't think so. And he's gonna go right to KYXY. Ooh, Kiro getting silenced up. There's oh and the big stun from Adam! Kick! Fabi should also be going down. The glimpse back, Miracle goes down, end of the snowball. Fabi will also be dying here. If anything. There'll be a lane of barracks for sure. DJ doesn't have the ultimate. Click, click and bang down goes DJ Mushi. He's back with a vengeance and this will be the melee barracks going down. Two lanes of barracks in fact. Dyer's middle barracks, are under attack. Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower Adam. Adam's just gonna roll away nice and easy and... Absolutely nothing. So, Fnatic. Not sure how they're gonna come back into this. Definitely ran away a bit. Net worth jumped up to 15,000. EY is also pretty much in that area. Is there a comeback play for Fnatic here?
game one. Oh, I mean... It's I'll PQ if anything. Fnatic do have a miracle. Playing the Venom. I hope so. <laughs> you can actually catch Mushi all alone here because right now, if you look at the rest of Mineski, they're on the dire end. They go for a bit of a flank around. If anything, QO is in danger. They could just catch him if they have. So these are just heroes just walking past each other and not daring to take if could have been a big kill into mush though Fnatic, they need to back out right now ohio he's already provided them the intel he knows that adam's there with that life stealer inside him Actually going for that Hail Mary play smoke. Well, I hope RNG gods are in their favor because right now they're walking into the direction of where Mineski are. But whether they can do anything with it, we'll have to see. And they're just hanging around their, uh, not the area where the shrine used to be around that secret shop. But it doesn't seem like they're going to find anyone. Miracle just being the bait. I think yeah, Mineski are not biting. They know they have the game in their hands. They just need to play this out patiently. They, don't, they have no rush. They could wait for the next Roshan as well. And of course, with the wards in that area, they do know that Fnatic are there. Oh, there we go. Instant insta bomb combo. But the Carapace comes out from the Nyx Assassin. Now that's a big rock landing to three heroes. But there's no follow up from there. And that's just going to be the golem just put up by Raging Potato. Back, Miracle. Oh, he doesn't get the TP back. He's going to depend purely on but beautiful double stun from Adam and the Magnetite as well. They find one down. DJ is still alive for now. Triple stun coming up from Ohio, but that's all he can do. So there's no more follow whatsoever. The buybacks come out galore. Miracle getting up and they call it GG. They've had enough the ultra kill for Raging Potato. Give this man the rampage. They want to go into Ohio, but unfortunately... Hey. Stomp all over Fnatic in this game. 